Okay, we're here uh, at the uh, Hemp Industrial Conference, and we're here the first day. It's like the first day in the morning. Uh, we're at our first morning break, and yesterday afternoon, the pre-conference, we had uh, listened to a speaker uh, that was very, very interesting, <laughs> and that's Cole Peacock. He's the co-founder of Seed and Bean Market. Welcome, Cole. Good to be here. Uh, very interesting business. Y you've heard about businesses like this in South Florida, where we kind of hail from. Uh, but tell us about the business that you're in and uh, what you do and why you do it better than anybody else. Yeah, so uh, we got into this industry uh, um, kind of twofold. Uh, you know, we got in because of the wellness side, but then we also noticed there was a kind of a, a niche opportunity to create what we have established as the first approved cannabis cafe in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. And working with the Department of Ag and FDAX and, and uh, Department of Health. So we opened up a uh, seed and bean cafe. Sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's seed and bean marketplace down in Fort Myers. Our second location is in Venice. And we have the opportunity uh, to extremely clean food, mostly organic and natural. Uh, and we blend hemp, whether it's with protein shakes, we can we have uh, water soluble CBDs we put into the coffees, we sure. put the CBD into a lot of our recipes, cooking with hemp in the recipes as well. Yeah, and you don't have to do that. I mean the options there to do it. You have a combination you can do it with or without. We do. Absolutely. And I've heard I've heard I have to tell you, I've heard that the food is great. The food's Besides fantastic. Besides the C B D the food is great. The so food's fantastic. Right. We got a great menu. We've taken, you know, some interesting things like avocado fries. Most people never had avocado right. fries. Mm -hmm. Now one of the great things is uh, the invention of these um, air fryers. So we have nothing fried in there. Right. But mm -hmm. when you say an air fryer, we can throw in there and get the kind of the baked side of it and taste taste awesome. Uh, we've got little things like um, alligator bites, alligator tail bites. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and then we have something we think is really unique is a Cuban breakfast sandwich. Um, so just think of a regular Cuban sandwich mm -hmm. and then layer that with some eggs on there and some really good gooiness and then when you when you break the break the egg and uh, we've got traditional That's salads great. and yeah it's fantastic. So you, you know, do breakfast and lunch? We do breakfast, lunch and dinner. And, di and, and dinner. dinner. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got a great line of cannabis beers. Uh, we've got our own pure native CBD seltzer, which is mm -hmm. uh, the first approved in the state and fresh from Florida uh, approved. And uh, so it's it's a fun time, you know. And one of the things that uh, is so great about the location is is you can walk in and see a suit and tie ready to, to go to court uh, as an attorney, or you can see a mom and their kids playing for a play date. Uh, you can see dreadlocks, you can see tie-dye, you can see polos buttoned all the way up, you can see skateboarders. I mean, every, it's, a place, it's a place made for everybody. It is. It's every walk of life. Every, it's super diverse. Um, and one of the things we pride ourselves on is relationships in the community. Mm -hmm. we, we support a number of not-for-profits and constantly give back, and we kind of believe that you, know, you have to give to receive. Sure. Now, tell, tell us about... I've, I've heard, again, coming from the South Florida market or other places in Florida, you will go in and they will say, well, we have products with CBD in it, okay? Yeah. So, and I've heard about that. Then I listened to you yesterday and I said, well, wait a minute. They actually went a step further we did. and did it 100% legal right. as it relates to the state versus other cafes that will, as I would call, pop-up cafes. Right. Or you have a coffee shop and you decide to put CBD into a product. And there's a lot of people that that's are doing right. that. There's that's a lot right. of people lot, doing that. Right. Um, so tell us what makes you so different to be able to to do this in a level that you get, actually had sanctioned by the state to be able to yeah. do it. So when we first had this concept, we, we contacted the Department of Ag um, and uh, in particular Holly Bell, who mm -hmm. at the time was a director of cannabis mm -hmm. from the state and said, okay, well, how do we do this? How do we do it the right way? How do we make sure that we're not gonna get in trouble? So from there, we got with the state attorney's office, we got with the district attorney, mm -hmm. the sheriff's department, the Department of Health. You covered all your bases, We didn't did, you? <laughs> business professional reg, and we had all the inspectors come in, all of the you know, bodies that could sign off on this to make sure it was gonna happen. Uh, and we ended up getting approval on the state level and then writing uh, regulatory issues, helping with that, uh, and then the municipalities making sure they had the proper ordinances to do this. Hmm. Uh, so, no disrespect to other people that want to pop in and make a quick buck off of the, right. off the trend, but uh, to your point, we did everything we could do uh, kind of above and beyond. 
mm -hmm. um, so that we can expand, we can franchise, we can have corporate stores, we can go down that path and not have any hiccups as we try to move forward. Right. So you are looking to expand to other areas, I assume, in the state of Florida and the country. We surely are. So uh, we've been open, you know, with three years with 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 with, with kind of a a slow run there during the shutdown of COVID. After everybody, and, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got a second location in Venice. We're currently looking at some locations in Dade County, Broward County, mm -hmm. um, in the Panhandle as well. And it's been amazing. Uh, there must be, you know, 20 people out of, the, out of New York that have asked if they could franchise, a handful mm -hmm. out of Colorado. Yeah, uh, Kentucky's, the Tennessee's, mm -hmm. the, the Michigan, because that seems right. to be where everybody where Michigan's moving to Florida these days. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> everybody with his, with his estate tax, I'm people are moving they're, out. They're moving, so they're out. moving they're out. They're moving, they're moving out. out. They're That's for sure. But, uh, yeah, so we want to make sure we we capitalize on the on the, on the the positivity and the excitement in the industry. So if, if somebody came to you, maybe after watching this or seeing it or as it rebroadcast over, over, the, over the weeks or months, and they said, well, you know, I'm really interested. Are you interested now in obtaining a partner of partners in certain areas, like you were saying, Broward County yeah. or Miami-Dade or Palm Beach? Sure. I think Palm Beach would be actually a very, very good place. To Palm Beach would be great. Yeah, you we're know? always looking, uh, if it's if they got the right, the right mindset, the right drive, you know, what we really want to do when we build this is we want to have like-minded people. Right. Um, and, um, you know, I mentioned we got in this from the health side. That was really the health and wellness is really the, the sure. factor. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, we're always looking for partners. And, 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 and like I said, I mean, it, they've got to be the right ones. Uh, one of the things that we have found tremendously successful with is the is the relationships that we have existing with our vendors, mm -hmm. the banking side, which was which was a struggle. You know, right. we had to get the right banks. We had to get the right point of sale systems. And uh, so we feel like we've done all that so that if we could bring partners on if they were interested in a franchise sure. agreement. Uh, it's it's pretty much set for you. And, and part and part of the franchise is not only setting in all the, uh, what I would call administrative parts, sure. but the recipes. And and I so, think what I've heard, and not from you, yeah. or not from your wife, yeah. but I've heard from others yeah. that the recipes are absolutely fantastic. They're great. They're yeah. absolutely the food is absolutely perfect. So that's really when a franchise you're buying a complete package. You are. You're buying the recipes. You're buying the banking relationships. You're buying the administration and how to run a successful business. Which brings me to the question, Yeah, I assume you're successful. We are. Okay. <laughs> we are. We are. Yes, we are. Uh, you know, one of the things, I mentioned COVID, one of the great things that happened with us, you know, kind of staying in that wellness mm -hmm. side, we were able to get the state uh, approval uh, to stay open as a kind of a clinic of, you know, and, mm. um, selling the CBD products, making sure that people could, where they had, you know, any sort of issues they were dealing with. And one of the things we found was, uh, people were home with their pets much longer than they had been before. Right. And didn't realize that they had zoomies or run around or do whatever <laughs> they wanted to do. Um, it, it really allowed us to to, to build a level of trust uh, and, and and that support, um, not just from a cafe side, but from an overall wellness and holistic side. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, you mentioned the recipes. We've right. got some very unique ones. We've got these granola hemp bites that we've created. Uh, we've got our own kind of mm -hmm. brownies we've done. You know, we also have um, phenomenal hemp protein smoothies, uh, and then you know we now have donuts that we're doing with mm. CBD icing on them, and so everything we do, we're very careful with. We have all the all the right uh, ingredients and all the right recipes matched out because there is a trick there. I mean, you know, you start cooking with these things, and it can get out of control with you, and uh, whether it's using the hemp oil seeds correctly, right. um, but it's it's been fun. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, we've got amazing chefs that uh, sometimes we got to slow them down because they're very creative. I would imagine they are. I would <laughs> yeah, imagine so. when, you're, when you're dealing with products like the CBD and the hemp products, yeah. people can get very creative. But as you said, when you're cooking with this product, you really have to watch. It's not like just throwing something into water and you're boiling right. it. You're exactly you, right. Because the properties of the product changes it does. at certain heat. It does. And so you have to make sure that you really know what you're doing. And that's why it's important to be able to have the recipes and the right way to be able to make it. Yeah. 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 And you've got to play with it. I mean, it, 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 this took us, you know, weeks and months to kind of figure these things out. But mm -hmm. you know, we have to feel comfortable that we know what we're doing to stand by everything and make sure that uh, any consumer is getting exactly what they need. Yeah. Well, that's, so to kind of to kind of wrap up because I'm excited about this and it's it, it's something that uh, I'm going to have to take my wife and drive over and, and see what it's all about. Come I, see us. We have I haven't been out there. I have some friends that live in the Fort Myers area. Maybe meet for lunch yeah. there or dinner. 
So tell us, if people are interested in contacting you for possibly a business opportunity sure. in the future, how would they get a hold of you, Cole? So they can they can uh, go online at seedandbeanmarket.com and uh, we've got like a, an info spot there and you can send comments in, that's one way to do it. Mm -hmm. Or just call the store, they'll track us down, uh, you know, and again, seed and bean market, uh, it, it's, it, it comes up pretty easily, you type it into Google these days, you can find, every, find anything, you can find, you anything, find you anything you want. Sometimes that's things right. you don't want, that's you exactly find. Right. That's Absolutely, right. no question. Uh, but yeah. Come see us. Uh, definitely come over and see us, and, and uh, definitely will. try one of our uh, CBD signature mocktails that we've created. And, uh, it'll be a good time. I may, it may have to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, that's one fine day. too. We'll, we'll reserve you a spot there. <laughs> so the, the other thing is, before before we sign off, is besides the seed, the, the market, and the restaurant, he also has a great CBD line. Yeah. That is produced because of all this. So if you're interested in a really good CBD line, if you're interested in in, in a franchise, if you're interested in going out to eat someplace that is different and, and good, then come over and see Cole. Come see us and uh, you can get that CBD line Pure Native uh, and you can find that online too at Pure Native Lifestyles. And uh, we, we, We're really proud of where we're at and uh, very comfortable and we know we got a great product. Cole, I want to thank you for stopping by today. It's been a pleasure. My pleasure for sure. Thank you very much. And we will be back with some other interviews a little bit later on. In fact, we're going to interview uh, Gene, Gene Jones, who puts on these conferences and talk about the two upcoming conferences that you surely do not want to miss. So we'll be back in just a little while. All righty. <laughs>